Good evening, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make another video. I think it's still the 10th. I'm not absolutely sure because I didn't bring my clock down into the lower level. But I think I... I think it's the 10th. I wrote on the... In my composition book down here, I wrote on Friday, which was the 8th. So yesterday, Saturday was the 9th, and today is Sunday the 10th of December 2023. It is going on 6 o'clock in the evening. As you can see, I'm down the lower level where my library is, my book collection. I thought what I would do, you know, I, I said I was going to make, I made a video this morning about the Trinity hymnal and singing Christmas hymns and high Christology and all that. But I thought, since I don't feel like watching any football and I don't feel like reading, it's too early to go to bed, my wife went to church, I thought I'd just show you the, the books I got at the Finville Warehouse used bookstore yesterday, and then I might show you some thrift store books I got a couple weeks ago. One of the books I got yesterday was Bernard... Malamud, The Complete Stories. I collect his writings. Uh, I have whole, I have a bunch of his novels over there on the lower level. Uh, I can't remember all the titles of them, but I thought they'd be in here, but I don't see them. He wrote The Natural, uh, a New Life, which I read last year, The Magic Barrel, The Fixer, The Tenants, Dublin's Letters, God's Grace, uh, things like that. He won the Pulitzer Prize and National Book Award for The Fixer. Uh, he won the prestigious gold medal for fiction in 1983. This was published in 19... Let's see, it says here... The copyright was by his, his wife, uh, copyright 1997, so I got that. Then I picked up this book at Fenville Warehouse, used bookstore, Family Papers, a sap, sap, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't pronounce this, it's the... Sap art. I knew it in my mind. Now I can't remember. The Sap Hardic? No, it's not that. Oh, it's this terrible. This is this is the title of it. The Family Papers. Sep. Uh, it's that Jewish mystical sex journey through the 20th century. By Sephra. Sarah, I can't pronounce her, Stein. I like reading Jewish history and different perspectives on the 20th century. So I got this at the... Please forgive me for mispronouncing all these names and titles. and It's just terrible, I know. I had a copy of this, uh, The Fine Balance by Rotan Mystery. Now, once again, I'm probably mispronouncing his name. I had a copy of this and I couldn't find it in my library, so I got myself another copy yesterday. This is a biography, Where Rivers Change Direction by Mark Sprague. Uh, it's about the growing up of a young man in Yellowstone Plateau in Wyoming back in the 1898. Uh, just about the growing up in the West, it's like a biography. And then I bought. The 19th Century Visual Culture Reader, edited by me, Vanessa R. Swelch, 
and I can't pronounce the last name. Jeanania, I can't pronounce the name. This is basically a reader and it just looked it has all these different essays in here like uh, the bourgeoisie cultural appropriation and the art museum in 19th century France by Daniel J. Sherman uh, the modern cult of monuments <laughs> its character and origin 1928 and it has an article, essays by Karl Marx, Boulardaire, Benjamin, Walter Benjamin. Uh, it just looked kind of fascinating. It was only a dollar. The Illustrated History Book, Visualizing the Past. Oh, it just looked interesting, so I picked it up. These I picked up at uh, the Finville Public Library, which is across the street from the Vin Finville Warehouse Used Bookstore. This is from the Finville Public Library. They have a used book room. This is a novel by Peter Carey, The Chemistry of Tears. I found out I already had this in my library. I collect his writings, so I'll put this in the box. I have doubles of. And then I picked up an, a novel by Anita Bruckner that I didn't have. I have 25, now 26 of her novels. This is her Strangers, a novel. I didn't have this one, which I was surprised, but it was only like, I don't know, 50 cents. And then I picked up, uh, picked up at the warehouse, his bookstore, The Scarlet Letter and other writings by Nathaniel Hawthorne. This is a Norton criti Critical Edition. That's why I picked it up, because it has all these essays in here, uh, uh, literary essays, the context of Scarlet Letter, Antibatum, Antibatum, no, Antibatum, well, no, Balum, Balum, I don't know, Feminists on Hawthorne, just all kinds of things on criticism, letters, Revisiting Nathaniel Hawthorne and the Feminists, the Scarlet Letter and the Anti Slavery Feminists. I don't know, just pick that up from my Nathaniel Hawthorne collection. This is The Greatest Empire, The Life of Seneca by Emily Wilson. Yeah, I don't usually collect Roman history or ancient history, but. It was a biography, and uh, I thought, why not add it to my biography collection? I had this book already, but I think I, I can't find it, so I bought another copy yesterday at the warehouse used bookstore. The Trust, the Private and Powerful Family Behind the New York Times by Susan E. Tiff and Alex S. Jones. Yeah, I had this and I couldn't find it, so I picked it up. I a couple of weeks ago, my wife found at a thrift store another book by this couple, the Pat the Patriarch, the Rise and Fall of the Bingham Dynasty. So I got that. Yeah, I like reading about newspapers, journalists, newspaper men. I got this at the Finville. Public Library used book room, Nostalgia, Historical Fiction by Dennis McFarlane. I had another, another novel of his in my library and this one, The School for the Blind. I had this already in my library and I found this one yesterday at the Fenville Public Library used book room. So now I have two novels by him. I haven't read either one of them. Uh, this is a, I showed you this book of Fine Balance, but I also found at, um, 
I think I found this at a thrift store. Tales from, I can't pronounce it, but it's by the same writer who wrote this. I have other books by him over there, down there. I collect his writings. I have not read them. He was born in Bombay, India. So they kind of take place in India. Uh, I found this at some thrift store, David Daldar, The House of Blue Mandigos. It's a f novel. It takes place in, I think it takes place in India. This is White Noise by Don DeLeo. Uh, I already had this, but this is a, this will go in the box of doubles. I also had this, but an old paperback, Claudius the God by Robert Graves. Yeah, I had an old paperback. This is a hardback edition I found. Matador's The Journey into the Heart of Modern Bullfighting by Emen O'Neill. I can't pronounce the name. Yeah, it's kind of it's not, it's about bullfighting in Spain, but also it's kind of like a a travel memoir of Spain. And I like reading about Spain. It has a chapter on Hemingway. There's a picture of Hemingway who wrote a book on bullfighting, which I have in my library. And then I picked this book up, Remembering Paris by Dennis Tellick and paintings by Andre Renux. I can't pronounce the name. What these are is just paintings of old Paris. As you know, I collect books on Paris. All these old paintings of Paris. Uh, so that's what it is. I had that showed that book. This see, it has things like that. And, uh, things like that. Just remembering Paris goes to my Paris collection. I had this in paperback and I found this at Blue Stockings, uh, a, a, a biography on John Kenneth Gabrath, his life, his politics, and his economics by Richard Parker. I collect his writings. He was a prominent economist. This came out in, when this came out. Yeah, I had a paperback of it and this was at Blue Stockings. This came out in 2005. This is a mystery by C.P. Snow, A Coat of Varnish. I had this already in my library. I collect his writings. He was a British writer. So I'll put this in the box for doubles. And I found at I got this at the um, Gateway. This is a biography on Zola, A Life by Frederick Brown. I showed you recently I have Frederick Brown's biography on, on Gustave Faber. This is his big novel on Zola. It's over 880 pages. Yeah, Zola is one of my favorite writers. I collect his writings. And I was, I was really pleased to find this. I want to read it probably next year. And then I found the novel Irresistible Henry House by Lisa Growald. Yeah, I never heard of this novel, but I looked through it. And it looked interesting, so I got it.
And then I had this already. My wife had it in her library. El Elador, A Writer's Life by Ann Waldron. So those are the used books I got at Thrift Stores, Gateway, Finville Public Library, and the Finville Warehouse Used Bookstore. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. 24 books. I probably spent $20 for those books. So yeah, I, I go to Gateway, which is a all the stuff in Gateway goes to support rescue mission uh, ministries to families in need and job training for men and women and all kinds of social programs and blue stockings. I have books on I have traded for in-store credit and then of course Goodwill and blue well the warehouse use uh, the Finville warehouse use bookstore is really cheap I spent ten dollars yesterday for maybe eight books so you can't go wrong so now yeah I wanted to show these books so I can put them away tonight start fresh it's the beginning of a new week. This is Sunday. We're going to the middle of the week. Yeah, I just want to put these away, get them out of the way, and put them where they go in the midst of all this library down here. Yeah, there's nothing really here that I really want to get into except Zolo, A Life by Frederick Brown. I read Frederick Brown's uh, biography on Gustave Faber. I showed that to you recently. But this is a big, huge biography by him. So yeah, I suppose I'll sign off. I'll download this video. If you got any questions about these books, where you, I usually list the books below the video so you can see the title and the name, the, the author, because I'm so terrible in pronunciation. And yeah, so I suppose I'll just sign off. Like I said, I'm kind of out of it. I don't know what it is. My wife, I think what it is is when you get my age, 71 years old, that you just, you get kind of worn out. You get tired of everything. You just feel like this is, you, this is not the world that you want to be a part of anymore. But... What can you do? Yeah, Anita Bruckner is one of my favorite writers. I have like 25, 26 of her novels. Peter Carey, I have maybe eight of his novels. He's an Australian writer. So I'll sign off. I'm just going to start rambling. This is going on. I have, there's a little time up there. It says 18 minutes. I try to just go 20 minutes. Lately I've been going 25, 26 minutes. Just kind of being kind of... Uh, I don't know when this thing was shut off. But I just want to show these used books. Because lately I've just been talking about all kinds of things besides books and used books. and So I thought I'd just break it up here and just show you all these used books. So I hope you have a good reading week. This is a Sunday night. I don't have anything coming in the mail this week. I did get a CD today. The New Cat Power. Bob Dylan, Albert Hall. That's all I got today. And I did order some used books the other day. Books in translation and... but nothing really. So I'll just sign off. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for subscribing. Do pray you have a good new week. And until next time, bye.